Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG. We're back with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about the possibility of Jeddah coming to ACC. Now, if you guys don't know or you've been living under a rock, um, ACC's esports event runs simultaneously with the real life race. So that means the esports drivers, Dan McCormack, Nils Naljux, um, Prenter, they get to actually visit the tracks where the real life race is actually happening. So whichever race is on the real life calendar, the esports drivers have actually got to go on site and race. Um, I believe it's somewhere like in the garages or something like that. They set up, they set up all the rigs and stuff. So they actually get to race at the at the actual event. Now, last season, well, this season, currently, Prenta has got to visit Marseille. I think he's been to Monza and also been to Barcelona. But if you actually listen to the commentators, what they said is next season they won't be going to Barcelona they'll actually be going to Jeddah so if that's the case they have never visited a track and not raced on the same track on the sim so technically they, they did they let some something out of the bag I can't 100% confirm but they did say that next season they will be going to Jeddah now if you look at the SRO GT challenge um, calendar for next season for 2024 it actually does have Jeddah as the last race of the season, which I believe is like a six hour endurance. So they're, they're definitely going there in real life. They said that the esports drivers will be traveling to Saudi Arabia in real life next season. So if you put two and two together, then, you know, maybe Jeddah is actually coming to the game and that would be insane. It does also mean that they're going to continue to support the game in the future as well. They also mentioned the GT2s that are supposed to be coming to ACC. So if the commentators are mentioning it, then you have to be pretty confident that these things are actually going to happen. Now, they didn't actually distinguish whether Jeddah is coming to ACC platform. But as I said, if you put two and two together, it kind of looks like they, they will be introducing Jeddah. Um, also, there is other tracks on the calendar like Hockenheim and uh I believe it is Manny Core as well. They didn't mention those tracks as in the esports drivers visiting, but they did mention Jeddah, which is the thing that I'm focusing on today. So this this might be the one, lads. This might be the new content we're looking for. Definitely a very different track. We've seen it in F1. If you guys don't know what circuit is, it's the track where Max Verstappen brake tested Lewis Hamilton. So let's get stuck more into the meat and bones of it and see show you guys a little bit more information. So if we come across to the calendar for the um, GT Challenge Europe, you can see it starts off with a test at Paul Ricard, then Monza, Brands Hatch. Um, you have another test there at, at Spa. But all these events, um, the actual esports travels to the same destination and has a race on the same weekend as the race itself. So for instance, Prenta, he got to go to I believe he went to Monza, he went to Paul Ricard, and he also went to Barcelona, I believe. Um, and you can see the tracks on the calendar right here. Now, this is all gravy. We have all these tracks bar in Hockenheim on the actual game itself. But if you did watch the esports event on the weekend just gone, they spoke about SRO esports for next season. And if we go ahead to the calendar next season, they talked about actually having an event at Saudi. Now, every single track that these drivers, the esports drivers visit, that track is actually on the calendar. It's actually on the game. So if they go to Monza, then they race at Monza while the real life race is also at Monza. Same thing with Paul Ricard. I, I believe they did the same thing at Spa and they did the same thing at Nürburgring as well and Barcelona. So that's the case and from what i heard the commentator saying from the actual event itself they said next season they won't be going to barcelona they will be going to Jeddah in saudi arabia and if you look at the calendar for 2024 we have six hours of Jeddah on november the 21st so does that mean Jeddah is actually coming to acc and if it is coming to acc what can we expect from that track in terms of how it will race is completely different to anything we have on the game already and i mean i'll be excited we, if you if you don't know what track Jeddah is we have it on um f1 if you watch f1 you would have seen you know especially in 2021 that insane race between hamilton and verstappen um 
it's a very good track but also a very very tricky track and i think it would be a, a very difficult track to master hopefully if we are getting more support into acc into 2024 hopefully we can get the bop sorted out a little bit as well they did also mention we will be getting gt2s which is you know if they're if they're saying it on a live broadcast then you can bet that it's pretty much happening because they wouldn't say something like that and then not bring the gt2s out that would just be insane but they are saying that we're no longer going to be going to barcelona and we will be going to Jeddah. so they're going to be going to Jeddah. you have to think you have to think that um that Jeddah will be added to the game now even if you want to look into it further if you look at some of the other tracks like hockenheim and manny core also there for 2024 is there a potential of these tracks also being added to the game as well who knows but it, it does look like we we may be getting even more content man um, i'm not promising anything but i'm just saying every single track that the, the drive the esports drivers actually visit is on the game so you know they they didn't visit hockenheim and hockenheim's not on the game so even though it's in real life on the real life calendar for 2023 as well they didn't visit Hockenheim to, to do any sort of esports events, but all the other tracks they visited were definitely in the game. So does that mean we are getting Jeddah in future? And as I said, if we do get Jeddah, that is a, a very different track and it's going to race extremely differently to any other track we have. There's not too many big breaking zones. It's a high speed track, blind corners. You're gonna you're gonna need a immense setup for that track because you need your aero, but you definitely need some straight line speed as well. So let's let's look more into the track for you guys who don't know what Jeddah actually looks like. Now looking at Jeddah as a circuit, it literally is just a street track, and um it's a pretty pretty scary street track. Even when I watch it on F1, I think, Jesus, if someone has a crash around one of these corners, man, a lot of the corners are blind and they're extremely fast, so you're gonna have to take care but just going through the circuit itself it is sort of in the city so it's gonna be a lot of a lot of nice scenery and stuff like that a tight first corner a tight second corner but literally there's not many tight corners on the circuit it's not a lot of hard heavy braking zones which means it's gonna be a fast flowing track but you know you're gonna have to do it within the walls sort of like the mountain section at um bathurst but I mean, Bathurst has the, the downhill, which is pretty difficult. But with this circuit, it seems to be a lot of blind corners. That That's where, that's what will make this track a lot different from any other track on the game. And it makes it much more difficult to, to gain time if you're just not as, you know, not as brave than, than some other drivers. So I believe the skill gap is going to be pretty big around this circuit because to nail the lines is pretty difficult because you carry so much speed into the corners but if you get one corner wrong it's going to affect your run all the way through the far sort of flowing sections um i do like the track though man i do like the track it will definitely be something very different to what we're used to um we don't have any street tracks whatsoever as i said bathurst is probably the closest we have and that is only one particular section of of um bathurst but again um for Jeddah it is gonna be crazy now it looks insane at night time as well you can only imagine how good it will look on ACC this at the moment this is currently the F1 game I'm using to showcase what Jeddah would actually be like but it's very actually very hard to imagine what racing will be like on ACC around this track um I can sort of think of the cars that will do well probably cars like the McLaren because you can sort of run the lower downforce while still having the aero to um get the lap times but hopefully by then we'll be looking at different bops and stuff like that i'm i'm about maybe 60 percent confident we'll probably be getting jeddah on this game and um if 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 we do get it it's just going to be crazy it is going to be crazy this will spice things up a ton um hopefully hopefully it's not just Jeddah hopefully as I said hopefully we get some of the other tracks as well like Hockenheim and Manny Core because they are also coming to the calendar but I didn't hear the commentators say anything about um you know racing or the esports drivers visiting those places but they did definitely say they will be going to Jeddah in 2024 so if that's the case um I I'm pretty sure that Jeddah 
just might be coming to ACC, man. And if it does, then wow, definitely will help keep the game alive for a little bit longer. Um, it does look like we're going to be getting support into 2024, which is always good because, you know, ACC definitely is most people's favorite game. I can say, you know, maybe it has become a little stale, a little boring recently. But um, if we have something to look forward to, then I'm sure everyone will pretty much jump back on. And it's going to be an insane circuit if we do get it, man. And uh, I can only imagine, only imagine what some of the races are going to be like around here. The endurance races, all sorts. It's just definitely a nice track. Um, going to be quite difficult to learn for most people. But I hope that it does come because we, we definitely need some change. But guys, it's Cryptic TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Leave comments in the section below. Peace.